Hi there! In this video, we'll cover the basics of creating interactions in Axure RP. Interactions are made up of three parts. Events are the triggers in an interaction. Actions are responses to those events. When you want an event to perform different actions depending on the scenario, you can enable cases on the event. To add interactions to a page or widget, select it and head over to the Interactions pane. You can start by clicking New Interaction or choose from some common interactions below. Let's make clicking this button show a message that has been hidden by default. With the button selected, click New Interaction. Select the Click or Tap event, and in the Actions list, select Show slash Hide. Let's choose Show and click OK. When we preview, we can see that clicking the button shows the message. Now, let's add a second action to the same click event to change the text on the button. Click Add Action below the first Show action. Select Set Text and choose this widget. This widget refers to the widget that we're editing, which is the button. Let's change the value to Success. If we preview again, we can see that the message is shown and the button text is set to Success. What if we want the button to do this in some scenarios and do something else in different scenarios? You can prototype this using Cases. Click Enable Cases next to the Click event and let's name the first case Success. Then, to add a second case, click Add Case next to the event and name it Error. Now let's add a set text action to the error case, but this time, set the text on the button to try again. Preview to try it out. Clicking the button lets you choose the case that you want to perform. If we click Error, the button text is set to try again. For more realistic prototypes, you can add conditions to cases and automatically perform actions when the conditions are met. That's it for now. You're ready to start building interactions in Axure RP. For more resources, head over to axure.com/learn. Thanks for watching and happy prototyping.